if you took a priest from Europe, he'd be very upset with this church. Because, what do you mean, they're not all from the same town, they're not all... The, uh, America and Europe do, do not mix, even for the Ukrainians. The Ukrainians coming over now cause a lot of problems for the Ukrainians that are here now. The same thing with the Lebanese. Bishop Nicholas Summer was just made bishop. He says there's the great divide in his church. Because the ones who are coming over from the old country now, and those who have been here, they're Americans. What is this nonsense you're bringing from the old country? So it always causes problems. Bringing a priest from the old world doesn't work. Doesn't work. You have to have somebody who knows the history and knows what happened. And then it does work. But if you bring somebody from the old country, it's like bringing a Ukrainian priest from the old country, put him in one of the parish of Ukrainians here. Is that going to work? <laughs> Absolutely not. So, so, next. Your questions are very good. And uh, the, the sad thing is here, we have two or three Italo Greek families that came from the old country. They were with us for three, four years, and now they moved. So the sons and daughters are Americans. They don't want all this old world stuff. They want the customs, they want the tradition, they want the faith in the Eastern Church. But they're not going to live as uh, old world people. They're just not going to do it. And so why can't I use a bread maker? Why do I have to knead the bread? It, I mean, it, that's a minor example. It can go, it gets worse as it goes, you know, it's just, it's a whole different world. It's, um, anyway, but that's, the, uh, the, uh, the Melkites have a tremendous problem with that. They have a great divide in their church. Really bad. And because of the immigration, which is coming now because of the mess, they have two problems. Not only they have the divide of old country, new country, but they've also got the problem, I'm from Harissa, I'm from Larissa, I'm not, it's, it's, Europe, Italy, or, or, or France, or wherever they're from, the Italians exist here, not in Europe. I'm a Pisanese, I'm a Milanese, I'm a Sicilian, I'm a Roman, I, I'm an Illo Greek, I'm, a, I'm Albanian. There's no such thing as an Italian in Italy. And so they're tribal almost. So if you bring a tribal mentality to a church in America, it destroys the church. So you have to be careful, welcome, and slowly integrate. And if you don't keep the customs, you don't keep the traditions, then they'll never come. But if you, if you keep the customs and traditions and try to keep their culture, that won't work either. You have to make sure they adopt to the culture of America, whatever that is. How do you walk the balance? Sometimes it's not so easy, you know. Here, I'll give you an example. For um, St. Nicholas next week, the tradition in the, uh, the Italo Greek church for Nicholas is you go uh, put, take the icon in procession to the water and you put the icon on the ship and you go, St. Nicholas is there for the sailors. And like, okay, there is no water here. And... The, this two family came five years ago. They wanted us to go to Lake Mead, put the icon on the ship, and we would drive from here to there with the decorations on the car. And I tried to explain, it will not work. You, you cannot make a file. In Europe, the police will even help you. Not here. There is no way. So if you took a procession, you were, you'd have one car three miles behind, one in the front, it would be a mess. And then when you get to Lake Mead, there's no guarantee that the, uh, what do you call it, officer, uh, what do they call him? Not the peer manager, I forgot it's what they call him. But anyway, there's no guarantee he's going to let you put that on a ship and so on. And, so on. and we try to make arrangements once a year to do that as part of the celebration since it's eight days. They wouldn't allow it. They wouldn't allow it. So anyway, so that's... That's what I'm talking about. You have all these customs. Here's another one. When, when uh, we have a, uh, a uh, death, I don't know if you know what Colvaya is, the cracked, yes. you know what Colvaya, okay. See, any, all the Byzantine churches have Colvaya, so it's not for one church. <clears throat> we take the Colvaya and we put it in a bowl and you put three candles in for the Father, Son, and the Spirit. So when you say the, uh, the uh, Panahida for the deceased, you light the candles on the day before, which would be parastas, the body is laid out. You light the candles the day before, and you light them on the day, 
and you put the three candles in the coffin when you close the lid. The Indo Greeks in Europe, what they do is they make bread, not kovaya. They make a big round loaf, they call it a kudul, and they put the candles in the kudul. And then after the parastas, the, uh, the bread is cut up and the honey is put on, and the people eat the. And the candles are not put in the coffin. They're given to the widow or the widower to keep at home. And they, you'd be surprised, a simple thing like that it makes a war. It makes an absolute war. Our people here are used to kovaya, not the bread. And the reason in, in Europe, in the Piano de Grecia, in particular San Basilio, where my mother came from, the reason they had the bread and not the kovaya, there are no wheat fields. You cannot get the kovaya. You have to go to another town or get the wheat or whatever. So they used to, they, when, by the time they get it, it's already flour. So they have to make the bread out of it. So they don't understand what's kovaya. So it, 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 there's lots of things like that. I mean, that sounds picky. But if you understand, you see it's not like name day celebrations. Here, here's another one. In Europe, the, the celebration is not your birthday. It's the day you were baptized, the name day. And so for a long time, that's what we had. Now, the children that you see now, because slowly, 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 we made the parish understand we're not celebrating birthdays. We celebrate birthday to heaven, baptism in Christ. And so that stayed. So the kids who came from the Illo Greek families that were born after they got here, they want their birthday celebrated. So everything you did for 18 years to try to educate him as to what the ancient tradition is, is wiped away in 10 minutes. It's, it's not easy. It's not easy. And, and uh, when we bring a monk over, you know, to give retreats and talks, they can't wait to get home. They think we're all crazy. They don't understand Americans at all. So it doesn't work. It doesn't, either way, it doesn't work.